Hey guys, nice to see you again. My name's Irfan, aka the Parkourologist. <laughs> So, in the last episode, I promised you guys that I'm gonna be showing you some of the basic trainings that you can do before going into parkour or free running or even tricking. So, I'll be showing you today some basic trainings and workouts or some of the basic moves of parkour that that's gonna help you start off in doing parkour and free running and even tricking so guys I'll be showing you guys five basic workouts that will help you to build up your mu hand muscles and the core muscles that you require to learn some of the parkour moves so let's get on with it so number one push-ups I'll be showing you some uh, push-ups which, which are gonna help you to develop uh, some of the muscles in your hand which will help you in the future so first of all we're, uh, the normal push-up so the normal push-up people kind of make some mistakes with it that they don't keep their back straight they kind of sometimes look like this or sometimes look like this but this is not how you do it I'll be showing you the perfect way to do a push-up so first of all keep your hands shoulder width and then you go down with, with your hands inwards not outwards inwards so you go down keep your hips and your shoulder aligned and slowly go down keep look forward and go down so one so two so like this you prepare some reps yeah, each day you first day you can do 10 or then you do five then on the next day you try to do 10 the next day you try to do 15 then and each day you develop more more and more so this is that's just the basic push-up so once you are good with the normal push-up that you are doing it perfectly then you're gonna go to the next step well, I have shown you the palm foot push-ups so next you try to do the knuckle push-up uh, to do the knuckle push-up you have to do it right so put your hands put your knuckle on the floor like this with only two two of these should touch the floor and then you put both hands the same way shoulder width and get your hips straight look forward and then inward not outwards inwards so this is this is how it looks like so you do this type of push-ups every day keep on keep on increasing the number the reps then I'll be showing you some of the workouts that's gonna help you to develop your core so let's get on with it it's the sit-ups uh, I recommend you do this like in one row do five reps first or then ten reps or you increase at your will you put your hands behind your head and you, you take your legs up keep it straight and your core should be tight uh, then you just pull up don't don't move your knee don't move your legs like this don't do this or don't do that just keep it straight only use your muscles or muscles to pick you up so it will look like this one two three four five so once you've done five don't put your legs down just keep it straight and move it down don't touch the floor then you take your legs up and also your body at like at the same time so one use your core muscles two three four five and so once you're done you can put your legs down and then you go straight it's called the plank you have to keep your hips and your shoulders 
as, as straight as you can. So like that. And put your hands like this. You can do it like that, as you wish. And stay like this for 20 seconds. And once you have done that, then you go straight to the to the all your position. And we are gonna do the bicycles. So put your legs up and just do what you do when you ride a bicycle. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So once you have done that, you go straight up. And that's your that's your sit-ups. So those were uh, some of the basic workouts that you can do to de develop your core and your hand muscles. Now I'm going to be showing you some of the basic trainings that you can do to develop that strength you require to start up in parkour. So the first thing that you can do is the crawling. It's some it's look like this. Uh, it's not crawling like that. Like the normal crawling it's a bit different um, you put one leg here you bend it you put the opposite diagonal hand in front of you put the other hand here and put the back leg straight like this and uh, it's called quadrupedal movement so you move all of your hands and feet the diagonally and the opposite the opposite hands and uh, legs gonna go together. It will look like this. Try to use your core as much as you can. So once you have done that, you can start from there and then move till here and then you keep on doing it as long as you can. Then you can do this the opposite way. You can just lean back, do the same type of movement, this hand, this leg. The diagonal hands and legs should move together. So like that, like that, like that. So keep on doing it as long as you can. Try to use your core muscles. So once you have, once you have done that, you can move on to a bit advanced movement. For example, if you have uh, a few stairs like this, you can do the same movement over this. So it will look something like this. You put one leg here, put the opposite hand here, put the other hand here, and this leg should be down. So you're gonna move this hand and this leg at the same time, like this. Then you move downward and you put one hand down safely and you put the opposite leg at the same time. So it will look something like this. So you put the other hand down, you put the other leg here. So put the other hand here, the opposite leg here. So this is gonna help you to build all that core muscles and it's gonna take your core muscles to another level and you can do parkour very easily and you'll have that strength that's required to learn some of the moves in parkour. So guys, that was your quadrupedal movement that's gonna help you build up your core muscles that's gonna help you in your future when you're starting off in parkour. So if you guys also happen to have a block like this or a table or anything uh, that, that is what, your waist height, you can use this as an obstacle and learn some parkour moves like the monkey vault. You can do the lazy vault. You can do any other vaults and learn parkour moves with this. So you can use a wall for parkour trainings for example, you can do a cartwheel like that. You can even learn your handstand with the, with the use of a wall. You can do a handstand push-up with the help of a wall. So if you guys want those examples, if you guys want how to do those, uh, how to do a handstand, how to do a handstand push-up, how to do a cartwheel on a wall, then I'll be rather happy to post videos for that too. So just comment below and I'll be happy to see it and post the next video. 
So you guys must be thinking that I haven't shown all the moves in detail, I haven't shown all the exercises in detail uh, because I, it's like one video, I can't show all the things in one video. So I have tried to show you guys some, some of the basic things that you can do and uh, if you guys want uh, you can just comment below on the specific move you want to learn and I'll be posting about it next week um, anything like the handstand uh, or the quadrupedal movement or anything that you want to know and learn in detail so I'll be posting about it or if you guys want to learn the basic of parkour the parkour roll I'll be posting about it on next week so just tell me what you guys want to want to see in the next video and I'll be rather happy to show you guys in the next video so thank you guys please be sure to subscribe thumbs up if you guys like the video share the video and I'll be I'll be seeing you guys next week